Obesity rates for children with disabilities are 38% higher than for children without disabilities, according to the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. Yet children with disabilities are too often left out of the childhood obesity conversation. To address this inequity, Keen, Kids Enjoy Exercise Now, recently held a summit meeting in Washington, D.C. Titled, Mom, I Want to Play, the symposium featured expert speakers and panelists who discussed the need for, availability of, and obstacles to providing fitness programs for this population. Hi, everyone. We are part of Kim Greater DC, and uh, I would like to introduce our team here. Our athlete, Yolina Firli, she's been with us for the past I think 14 years, so we know Yanina since she was a little tiny girl, and now she's a beautiful young lady who loves to dance and entertain and sing and play, and she was on stage at the Kinfest, so if you guys are planning on coming to our Kinfest, you're going to see Yanina on stage. Yeah. Her mom has been a great supporter to us for all those years. Very good. <laughs> started with skiing 24 or 23 years ago. Like Elliot said when she was a little girl, seven years old. And she grew with Keen to the position of being um, our senior program manager. She runs all our programs. We have 26 programs in the DC Baltimore area, 49 sessions, and she is in charge. So I'm just gonna leave now stage to Yanina, her mom, and Beth. <laughs> but I wanted to um, just share briefly with everyone here that um, Yanina has always been my hero. She's my youngest of four children, uh, but this is the this is the mountain climber. She has not physically climbed a mountain, but she's climbed many, 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 many mountains and refuses to quit, refuses to give up. Uh, two years ago, I shared. Uh, you know, two years ago, Yanina went in for a spinal fusion surgery, went, which went well. But somewhere in between coming back from recovery to coming to ICU, uh, things went south, and she ended up in ICU on life support for 26 days. And she uh, went into cardiac arrest twice. The second time she arrested, she actually flatlined out. And uh, she miraculously came back to us by God's power. Um, and then she fought her way back. She went to National Rehab from Children's for 19 days. They thought she was going to be there for about three months. Dr. Justin Burton mm -hmm. loves her. He's a great uh, physical medicine doctor. But she said, I have some place to go. I'm going back to Keene. I'm going for my graduation. <laughs> I did, I did graduate 
2013, I really, I really, I really, I, I did it, and um, I, I in a post high school program with my friends, my teachers, and this is this is my life. My dream, and I to go to college and really, and I am graduate two years and really, but uh, this is my life, and I miss my friends, my teachers, my family. Do you care about me? of Keene St. Louis, which is where I came from, but today I'm the most proud of being part of such an amazing organization. So from a higher level for sure, Keene USA. Thank you. Oh, I'm Ayana from Keene, Chicago, and of course love Keene and everything that Keene stands for, and I think I am proud of my autism hero, which is my son, William. Yes. I'm uh, Alex from Keene, Phoenix, and I'm I'm proud of just being here and seeing just amazing people and getting to talk to everybody about uh, this great organization. Hi, I'm Janice, and I'm with the YMCA Metropolitan Washington. And I am so proud of the opportunity to come and be a part of such phenomenal, phenomenal group and team, you know, a team that are just truly committed to making life better for not only children, but really making an impact on the world. So I'm so proud of being here. Hi, I'm Patricia Taylor with the YMCA, and I'm also proud to be a part, and I'm proud to be in your presence, young lady, and how you are blessed. And I'm a keen parent, I'm Adrian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not big enough for me. Uh, I'm just really, really, really proud that we are part of this amazing organization and it has just changed in you know, life in so many ways. So uh, I'm proud about that. Hi, I'm Amy with uh, Kinale. I'm proud of my family who's um, extremely open-minded and kind um, and really has um, actually supported my brother who's also autistic and my brother was the one who actually connected me to Keen. My name is Don Rosenstein and I'm a Keen parent and I'm going to be the moderator of the next session and what I'm most proud of is that I haven't burst into tears yet because I have to moderate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bertha Okuska, I'm with Skin Greater DC, and I'm proud to be Yonina's friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Brandhorst, uh, I'm on the board of Keen San Francisco, and I'm proud to be here, um, and I'm proud of the work that uh, all of our organizations and affiliates have been doing. Hi, I'm Cliff Rumler, I work for Keen USA, and I'm proud that my three teenage children have all on their own decided to volunteer for different causes. And I'm Kate Herson and I'm a Keen parent and part of uh, Keen USA and I am very, very proud of our first symposium and putting us in connection with who we serve and why we do it. I'm Joanna Winsborough and I'm with Keen USA and I'm just so proud to be part of a community that celebrates the ability looks at everything that we can do and not the other way around. Hi, I'm Gary and I'm from Special Olympics and I'm proud of my two uh, nephews and, and a proud godmother of them. 
Sharita Bozeman um, with Special Olympics International. I'm proud of working for an organization that helps change the lives of others and partnering with an organization that does the same. Hey, I'm Steve. I'm with Team New York, and I'm proud of all the athletes that come to the swim sessions and are much better swimmers than I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elizabeth, and I'm with Shape America, the Society for Physical and um, Health Educators. And I had one of my proudest moments a few weeks ago at the Buddy Walk in Washington, where my five-year-old son looked at my best friend's little girl with Downs and said, Mommy, isn't she the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? <laughs> uh, I'm Dan Murphy. I'm with Keen USA. And uh, I'm proud just to be associated with all the rest of these people from all these great organizations. I'm Monica Forker from Special Olympics and I'm also very proud of my organization and all of these organizations that have really helped to make people be the best of their ability. I'm Cheryl Richardson with Shape America um, and I, I'm so proud to, be, to have the opportunity to be here with you all and I look forward to future opportunity to be part of Team Keen and help support the efforts that you have throughout the country. Um, I'm Donna Gassi with the Virginia Foundation for Healthy Youth, and I am proud to be in this room with all this great energy that's going on here, but I'm also really proud of my son, Max, who's, who's come through a lot of adversity, and things are going great, so. Thank you. So, after we do prouds, we always do the hokey pokey, and we need a lot of dance. <laughs> so, uh, we need it, so we need everybody through hokey pokey. decades, Keen has been providing free sports and fitness programs for kids with disabilities in Washington, D.C. and in locations across the country. For more information on the symposium or on Keen, please visit their website at www.keenusa.org.